So there's a famous quote by Mark Twain saying the coldest winter I ever spent was the summer in San Francisco. Um, so, anyway, redwood trees are often really special. Most redwood trees are the tallest living things in the entire world. Just for a point of reference, imagine the Statue of Liberty, which is 305 feet tall. And add another 75 feet on top of that, and you have the tallest post redwood at 380 feet tall. And that redwood isn't here. It's in Redwood National Park a few hours north of here. Mirwood's tallest is only about 270 feet, but that's because up north their forest is older by almost a thousand years, and they also get a lot more rain and fog than we do, so their trees get a little bit bigger. You guys picked a great place to come see the Coast Redwoods. So, and I just want to say, you know, we're in a very special country, we're in a very special state, because we have two of the only three remaining Redwoods left in the entire world. So, anyways, the Coast Redwoods can also live to be pretty old. The oldest one is 2,200 years old. And the reason, well, there's a few reasons that they can survive for so long. The first one is their reproductive ability. So actually, only about 20% of the trees in this forest come from seeds or cones. The rest come from something. On the way up the Napa Valley, we stopped at the French Laundry. And then it was off to Gary and Nell's wonderful Creekside home, where we saw their new garden, their new dock, boat dock, and looked at the hot tub looking down the river. That was off to Clear Lake, where it was a bit too windy to swim. So then we took off to Ray's Market, where Kathy bought some great food for a nice dinner, including fresh artichokes from Gary's Garden. How about to our first night in the wilderness? Tomorrow night, I saw our second night. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. First, first night, night in the wilderness. Thank you, Gary and Niles, for inviting us to your lovely home. The guys are getting ready to go on a... Thank you. These ducks were quacking all night long. No, stay together. At first, the kids didn't want to wear life preservers, but we said that it was a state law. And uh, so they argued that the police would never catch us if we didn't wear it. But fortunately, the first boat we encountered on the creek was the sheriff's boat. So it was a good thing that we had them on. Sign. But Marsha's going to miss it because he's using your iPhone. There it goes. Quit looking at that thing. Marshall's busy looking at the iPhone. It's not every day you see a geyser. Right. Who's Addison? He got it in his eyes. There is water over there. Nice. It's that big. And a long neck. You look like a midget with a big head. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> the geyser was off to Safari West, midway between Calistoga and Santa Rosa, where we would first spend the night and then take our safari the next morning. This is our little cabin that we're staying, sleeping in tonight. And right next door are these little guys. Here's a midget. A midget having her cocktails. Another midget. Third midget. Fourth midget. And a big boy. Here we are in the safari. 
dining room. There he is, when I told him to quit hitting. And he didn't stop. Yeah, that's perfect right there. Hold on. You guys in the back will likely have to share your seat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. Oh, this will get good. Those were all born within the past two weeks. Oh, you're kidding. Oh. Um, we brought them into an observation pen. Uh, watch the swelling, make sure it didn't get infected. But that bone, your scapula, it's same structure on a wildebeest, it's a very thin bone. Have any of you heard of Cape Buffalo before? Yes. You know the reputation? No. This is one of the more terrifying forces in Africa. Cape Buffalo are strong, they are fast, smart, and if they attack, they attack as a group, as a herd. I brought you to see cows. Hey, Isha. Hey, hey girly. Yeah. Thanks for standing up. Uh, there's our female. Her name is Aisha. Her boyfriend laying down next to her is Mufasa. <laughs> They're pretty adorable. They are cute. The most unique animals on our property. <laughs> I think the babies are somewhere around. 